Solutions is to learn how to cook this year and inviting a lot of chefs, a lot of kitchen experts here on the show to teach us just that. Although I know eco chef Brian Ao here, I don't know that you're going to teach me how to cook today because you're actually the expert on raw recipes. That's Can you tell right. Us about that? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Janelle. Actually, you're absolutely correct. There's no cooking involved. Mm -hmm. It's my new recipe book, Eco Chef Brano Raw Star Recipes. Okay. It's over 100 recipes with no cooking, so it's actually really fast, fun, easy, healthy, and it's good for you and the planet. Okay, let's talk about that first. No cooking, the raw thing we're going to explain later, but okay. Eco Chef, what does that mean? This mm -hmm. is the first time we're hearing about that. Okay. I like to tell people I'm the only chef in the world that doesn't cook anything. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of funny, but it's true because as an eco chef, we use the most organic, all natural seasonal ingredients. Uh -huh. We use uh, products that are very good for the environment. Like this is a cork cutting board, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. And so everything's sustainable, organic, all natural. And you are what you eat. So when you eat organic, natural foods that are healthy, beautiful, gorgeous, you become that too. The thing is, <laughs> there was a wave of, you know, all organic and stuff like that. There was a perception that if it's organic, then it's automatically healthy. And, yes. and some people are questioning that. What mm -hmm. are your thoughts on that? I believe it is healthy for you and the environment because they don't use pesticides, it's all natural, they test the water, uh, it's very pure, it's non-GMO, so it is very healthy for you and it's worth the extra cost. And the dilemma is you mentioned the, the extra cost, there is also that um, they say that if it's organic then it's automatically expensive, it's a little bit more than your regular stuff. Tell us about the the, the, the ingredients okay. that you use. Okay, now, it can be a little bit more expensive, but it doesn't have to be. Mm. Now, if you go to the farmer's markets, you can become friends with the farmers. They'll give you extra discounts, extra food. Uh, you can find sale items, like organic bananas, for example. They're about 99 cents a pound, and inorganic ones are 80 cents a pound. Mm -hmm. So it's not that much extra and, anymore. And yeah. for those of us that are going to the market to buy and really look for organic, uh, for organic yeah. food, um, how do we know? How do we tell that it's really organic? Is it like a seal? or? Oh, yes. It has to say uh, certified organic on it. There will be labels and things. Mm -hmm. So be sure to make... Make sure that you find that and you see it on the product, you know, that way you know it's certified organic. Okay. Yeah. And talk to us about some of the ingredients that we're going to use later. Okay, great. This is Flax USA's organic flax seeds. What is that? Uh, they're made out of flax seeds. It's very healthy. It gives you protein, weight lifters use in their smoothies. Mm -hmm. gives you fiber, amino acids acids, omega-3s. It's and just a very healthy, complete food. And where do we get that? You can get that at Sam's Club, uh, my website, ron10minutes.com. Mm -hmm. It'll be everywhere pretty soon, but it's something you should eat every day because it's so healthy, oh, good for you. Oh, okay. Yes, and then we have uh, uh, organic coconuts, um, organic bananas, mm -hmm. uh, strawberries, and raspberries, and cinnamon. And we have this really incredible new product called Coconut Nectar. This is from the Philippines. Yay! Yeah, this okay, is can I see where? Okay, yes. all right, and then what is this? It smells okay. so good. Yeah, it's from coconuts, uh -huh. and it's all natural. Um, it's very low in sugar. I'm going to make it the next big natural healthy sweetener because it's so low in sugar, uh, neutral pH, living enzymes, organic, very tasty, and we're going to use that in today's recipe. And see, okay, guys, take a look at that. That <laughs> is what we are going to attempt to do, the <laughs> chocolate cake. The thing is, you don't need to bake. You don't need fire for that, right. and I am a little Skeptical, Brian, I'll give you a chance to <laughs> okay. make a believer out of me. That's when we return on the show. Don't go away.